So while this China server version of the Sakara M1S Hub is cheaper and does work really well when setting up automations in your smart home, it's also important to know that there are restricted features available when using it, if compared to the global version of the device. So in today's video, I'm going to explain them to you. Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, hello and welcome to my channel, and I hope you like today's video. If you like smart home and automotive technology content, then hit that subscribe button because that's what you're going to see on this channel. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing this Akara M1S Gateway Bridge Hub, but this is the China server version only. This China server version is quite widely advertised online for sale and costs less than the global version, but there are limitations when using this version over the global version. But until purchased, the buyer may be unaware of, so those buyers might find this review helpful. Installing this hub in your smart home could not be easier, thanks to the power plug socket built into the back of it, allowing you just to plug it into your power socket outlet on your wall. If you can though, I would recommend using or installing a power socket just for it, as it's quite large in size, which is 80mm in diameter, and it takes up quite a bit of room when plugged into a dual power socket outlet, as you can see. And because this is a smart gateway hub, it's a device that you are going to want permanently powered and set up at all times. And so a dedicated power socket would be perfect for it. And it's also recommended to be installed at least one meter up from the ground to ensure best performance for the rest of your smart home devices. Like all smart gateway hubs, the Sakara Smart Hub also connects to your home network and does this wirelessly. And it only supports the 2.4 gig network. And as for the protocol supported, this is a Zigbee based hub. So it's used for connecting other Akara Zigbee or Wi-Fi smart devices to it. And again, because this is the China server version only, I have heard other users report that not all Akara sensors are compatible with the China server version. I can't confirm this however, as my Akara sensors here are all the China version sensors and have worked fine with it without any problems. I've also heard others talking about delays when using the device because it only connects to the China server, but for me this has not been a problem either. When a sensor is triggered, the automations are executed instantly, as you will see later on in this video. As for platform support, it works with the Akara Home app, the My Home app, which is the Xiaomi app, and of course the Apple Home app. And yes, it can work with the My Home app and the Apple Home app at the same time, as I will demonstrate for you now. I tested it with all three apps and they all worked, however I did experience problems getting it to connect with the Akara Home app and My Home app and after testing it for several hours I found the most reliable way to get it to work was to set it up with the Apple Home app first and then after that it connected to the Akara Home and My Home apps without any problems for me. I never experienced any problems trying to connect it with the Apple Home app ever, however the functionality of the device is limited when using the Apple Home app and in my, in my opinion this device works best with the My Home app, which is what the supplier also recommended to use. I did also try to connect it with SmartThings as well, and it appears to not be supported. Because this is the China server version, on top of the box that it's supplied with, you will find a label, which tells you to set the region to mainland China, to be able to successfully make a connection with the device, as you would expect. And if you don't do this, you will obviously not be able to use it. The instruction manual supplied is also only in Chinese, so if you can't read Chinese you're on your own as far as the setup process is concerned. I'm guessing if you contacted a car or technical support they could assist you, but I did not require any technical support so I have not tried that. And the built-in voice assistant is also in Chinese, although this can be changed in the My Home app to English. So of course it does work outside of China, providing you're connected to the China server of course. However, it's important to note that Google and Alexa unfortunately are also not supported due to the required regional setting, which results in them not connecting. Apart from the easy installation design, this Akara hub has some other really cool features built into it as well, such as the very loud 2 watt speaker, which makes it great for setting up a simple home security system. And then of course there's the RGB lighting as well. And it can also be used as a nightlight, 
which can also be controlled with the built-in luminance light sensor, which you can set up using an automation to turn on the night light when, for example, it gets dark. This light also can be controlled using the button here on the side of the Akara hub. Just once for off, once for on. This button is also used for resetting the device and pairing it to the app. If you connect a smart contact sensor or motion sensor to it, you can get the light to come on when you open the door, for example. And we're going to put that to the test now. Okay, so while the Sakara hub is commonly used by people for setting up an entire home security system, I won't be doing that today. However, if you do want to use it for that, it can work very well for that application. And there are many features and settings available to do that, which I could make an entire video on, but I won't be covering any of that in today's video. Okay, so here I have a Akara contact sensor, the Chinese version, which I'm going to fit to my smart door, and then by setting up an automation in the My Home app, I'm going to control the Akara M1S hub using this contact sensor. Okay, so I've just mounted the Akara door contact sensor up on my smart door there. And I have set up an automation in the My Home app here that is going to turn on the RGB light in the Akara M1S hub to bright red. At the same time, the internal speaker of the hub is also going to create the sound of a barking dog, which is just one of many sounds you can choose from. And I have the hub volume set up to the highest volume possible. And all this will happen, of course, when Alexa opens my smart door. So, let's try it out. Hey Alexa, open door. Okay. I don't know how loud that came across on camera, but it's loud. Okay, their automation worked great. Now let's try another one, which again, I have set up here in my My Home app. And when triggered, the Akara M1S hub is going to turn the light off, and then it's going to play a happy little sound, which can be Alexa's way of saying that she saved the day and scared off the intruders. Okay, let's try out the second automation. Hey Alexa, close door. Okay. Okay, and just to finish things off, I have now set up one last automation. That when Alexa opens the smart door again, the Akara M1S hub will turn on the light to yellow and play you all a little song. Alexa, open door. Okay. Thanks Alexa. So, as you have seen, once set up, the Sakara M1S hub does work really well, and so far for me has been reliable. I have not experienced any issues with it after the setup process at all. But again, if you experience problems setting it up, then remember to set it up with the Apple Home app first. Well, at least that worked perfectly for me anyway. Okay guys, and that's how this China server version of the Sakara M1S hub works. For me personally, not having Alexa or Google support is disappointing because in my smart home I use them multiple times a day. But of course, you can still use Siri for voice control. And because this device is supported and works well with Apple Home, I think a lot of people that would be buying this device would probably be buying it to use as a hub for an Apple Home setup anyway. So Alexa and Google support may not be so important to them. And if you are trying it for this reason, then providing all your smart sensors are also compatible with it, then this would work fine for you. Please note that the results I've experienced from testing this device may not be the same for other parts of the world. The results in this review are only from my personal experience when testing this device in my country. Anyway guys, that now brings us to the end of another video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video or found it helpful in any way, then please like, share and subscribe to the channel where you can watch even more videos, which I upload every week. And I hope to see you all in the next video.